When it comes to creativity, high school art students in Buena Park have the ability to let it shine. Last February 21st, on a bright and sunny Southern California afternoon, the City Hall Council Chamber was the location of the 13th Annual High School Art Show and Award Ceremony. With artwork on display from area high schoolers, their talent was displayed in several different art mediums, from charcoal, pencil, and pastel, to oil, acrylic, and ink, as well as watercolor and photography. One could really see how these young artists have developed from elementary art to high school. Mayor Miller O oh was impressed with the quality of the displays. This is a great, you know, they did a great job that I never even seen before. Totally different, you know, job, the art show, I mean, art work they did it. You know, unlike any other, you know, the high schooler that painted and drew something that, you know, they imagine about. But this is the one that like, looks like professional work. So, you know, I'm happy to see. As students and their parents gathered for the award ceremony, a band from Buena Park High School was there to entertain the visitors. Band director Rob Shetland was pleased to bring his young musicians. Just the students from the Buena Park High School Jazz Ensemble, kind of our, our top members. We were approached last week to provide some music for this great event and we're glad to be asked. I was just hired, um, brand new to the school this year, um, 19 years of teaching with our first year at Buena Park. So great kids, uh, grades 9 through 12. We have a marching band, a concert band, a jazz ensemble, orchestra, everything. Uh, these kids will be traveling to Irvine High School uh, in a couple of weeks to compete in the Irvine High School Jazz Festival we're presenting Buena Park. This was fantastic. What a beautiful venue, great acoustics, uh, absolutely just gorgeous setting, and we're, we're happy to do it. We're glad we could, could come and, and help out. It was soon time to begin the award ceremony. Patricia Mulligan of the Fine Arts Commission opened the event with an introduction of council members and the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by comments from Marge Rollins and Mayor O. Oh. <laughs> this artwork is absolutely magnificent, and I hope that all of you keep up with your artwork through your life, whether you make it a profession or not. That's a great job. I don't want to ruin you on your Friday night, so let's get it going. <laughs> Also, Fine Arts Coordinator Sonia Batris gave a word of hope and encouragement to young artists and parents about students pursuing art and parental appreciation of their child's imagination. Hello everybody, um, my name is Sonia Batris. I'm the Fine Arts Coordinator for the city. Um, as If you know anything about me, I've been here about six years and I don't think I've ever spoken at either the elementary or high school art show because I'm very shy <laughs> and I don't like to speak in public. But I specifically requested, um, I asked my supervisor, Imani, who's standing right over there, um, I asked her if I could speak to the high schoolers because I just felt sometimes you need that extra encouragement maybe from a fellow artist, from a fellow, maybe if you're going to college for art, um, you know, it kind of helps to kind of get some advice from someone who's gone through it. Um, I graduated from Biola University in 2007 with a painting degree. And um, if you're thinking like my parents, they were like, why are you studying painting and why are we spending so much money so you can paint? Um, so in the beginning, it was very, very frustrating and uh, disheartening because Ever since I was little, if you asked me what I wanted to be, I either wanted to be an artist or a clown. <laughs> so, but then as I grew up, I realized clown wasn't really, you know, going to make it. And so I always knew I wanted to be an artist. I never changed my mind. I never had doubts. I knew I wanted to pursue art in some degree or, or the other. Um, as I went to college for art, um, I started doing art shows, I started doing projects at home, and little by little I saw my parents changing. I saw my parents asking questions. I saw them 
really interested in what I had to say in, you know, in my artwork. And now my parents are probably the biggest supporters of my art. And if they weren't at a Valentine's dinner today, they would be here supporting me in my job, which they always, a lot of the council members know my parents because they always go to everything that I do. And um, I just wanted to share that story with you. I wanted to share it with the parents because I felt if, you're, if your child wants to pursue art, but they know without a shadow of a doubt that that's what they want to do, let them because they will be successful. They will find work in what they love because I feel like when you're passionate about something, you're going to be successful. And if the, for the kids here that don't want to pursue art, maybe you have another field that you want to um, pursue, I also encourage you to continue doing art. Um, I feel like I'm still an artist. But I feel more my passion turned to arts administration. I love putting on art shows. I love anything art related. I feel like that is my gift. So maybe your art will challenge, uh, channel into something else. So I just wanted to encourage the parents and uh, all the high schoolers here, um, just continue what you're doing. Um, it's a joy um, putting up your artwork um, and you know being around your work and just asking questions and you know talking about it. Um, I know the judges had a wonderful time with this actual exhibit. Um, just a lot was said. And if you want to ask questions about your art, you want the inside scoop, you know, come ask me afterwards. I would love to speak with you. Thank you again for par participating at the show. The winners of this year's high school art show were then called down to receive their awards. And not only were they given ribbons and certificates, winners also won cash prizes as well. Third place won $25, second place won $50, and first place won $100. Congratulations to all the winners and participants of the 13th Annual High School Art Show. take a look at some of the art produced by the many talented artists and go to Sonia Batris who was able to speak with some of the winners of the high school art show. And um, this is your photograph, so you won second place. Congratulations. Can you tell me a little bit about your piece? Uh, this photograph is a uh, picture of three girls. It was during a Cesar Chavez, uh, actually Cesar Chavez memorial reveal. And they had all these girls dressed up in their, uh, their Mexican style dresses. Um, very colorful, which I was really happy to see because it was my first time shooting on uh, one of my new favorite lenses. But um, it was a great opportunity for me to be able to do that. And it was a big day of photography shooting. I think I shot almost thousand plus photos that day so 
I was thankful that this one came out. What do you want to do with your future? My future is um, I actually want to become a director and I want to open up my own independent film company. Um, but oddly enough, this is photography and I can't submit a film for this. But um, I'm doing photography right now because it's the best opportunity. But actually, La Habra has offered me um, the opportunity to help create a film program. And I'm actually working with David Edwards to do that. So it's really fun to be able to get that all started up. Wow, that's exciting. And um, being a photographer, I'm sure it's going to help you also in your directing, right? Absolutely. It's given me shot composition. It's given me um, experience on how to be time effective or cut things down. And especially just knowing how to use a camera is the biggest thing for me. Who are your biggest supporters of your art, whether it's film or photography? Uh, my biggest supporters are actually my parents, and oddly enough, it is also my peers because they're looking at my art right now going, well, you're in 10th grade, let's see what else we can do. And uh, it's a lot of fun because I get other people like my teachers, like people just immediately around me that get to watch my stuff, and it's really cool. And you won second place in today's art show. Congratulations. Can you tell me a little bit about your piece? Well, it was on the first day I actually got my dog, and he was just so cute. I wanted to take a picture of him, and I just fell in love with the picture. I just had to draw it. So this is a puppy? Oh my gosh, it's very cute. I love it. And um, is this usually the medium that you like to use? Um, I love to paint, and I started using color pencil actually this year, and I started to like it. So, yeah, I've been using it. And is this your mom here with you? Oh, great. What is your name? Sandy Varela. And uh, tell me, have you ever been a, a supporter of your daughter's work? We are a big supporter of her work. She is a left-handed artist. She does wonderful drawings. Um, she did first place at the Anaheim Convention Center last uh, the year before. And um, we just love her work. We're just anxious to see what she comes out with next, really. Do you have any of her pieces hanging at your house? We have a lot right now, but we have some in portfolios for her. Um, she wants to go to art school. Are you applying to any um, art schools? Yes, I am actually. I want to go to the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Oh, how exciting. And what do you want to study particularly? Uh, fine art, actually. Is there a certain um, specific category that you, like, do you want to go for drawing painting? Do you want to do... Yes, drawing and painting is what I like to do a lot.
what is your name? I'm Cesar Martinez. I go to Sunny Hills High School. I'm a senior. And uh, you won honorable mention to, at today's art show. Congratulations. Can you tell me a little bit about your piece? Well, there's not much to say. It's just, I don't know. I saw I saw it. And I see she's her name's Amber Rose. I saw a picture in black and white, and I thought it would just be really cool to draw. I like the shadows and the colors of it. So you do from a photograph? Is that usually how you start your drawings, is you collect kind of like photographs and kind of draw from there? Well, it just depends on like what, where I am at and like what I have around me. And you are? I'm Brian Wall. I'm from Sunny Hills High School. I'm the art teacher there and Caesar here is my student. And can you let me, uh, let me know a little bit about Caesar and how he's progressed in your class? Caesar's actually, uh, you know, made a lot of progress artistically. His techniques really improved, uh, and he's gone from kind of our foundation class to our more advanced class that he's in right now. And I think what Caesar loves about what he's doing now is there's a lot more freedom to kind of explore subjects that are interesting to him. Yeah. So all of the work that Caesar does, you know, comes from, you know, I'd say it comes from his heart. Do you have any schools that you're looking into? Um, yeah, I've looked into Art Center in Pasadena and Otis in Los Angeles. Are you thinking of studying drawing or is there another specific category that you're thinking of pursuing? I like architecture, I like env environmental design, yeah. Oh, great, well I know as an architect it really helps to have a fine art perspective. So congratulations once again and I wish you much luck. Thank you. Tell me your name. Daniel Choi. And which is your piece? Great. And um, I see you won first place at today's high school art show. Congratulations. Were you surprised that you won? Yes, I was very surprised. Wow. And who encouraged you to enter? Oh, actually, my friends encouraged me because they said they were going to enter in. And then they just said, oh, you should try entering since you're good at art. And then I just tried. And then I never knew I was getting this. Well, as a fellow art student back in the day, I remember doing these in school because it's very important that you can do value, that you can do still lives. And one thing about your piece is that it was very proportionate, um, even the, the lights and darks. Um, how hard is it to do that? It's actually kind of hard, but then once you get to know like what you're supposed to do, it's it gets fun. It's very fun too. Do you usually like to do still lifes or do you do other drawing type of drawings? I like still life, acrylic and computer design, computer graphic, yeah. And are you studying um, art in school or are you pursuing something else? I'm studying art in school and I'm also studying art outside of school because I want to go to an art college when I graduate. Oh, great. And mom, let me ask you, how do you feel about your son winning today? It's great, it's great, yes. Oh, you must be very proud. Great. Again, congratulations to all the winners and participants of the 13th Annual High School Art Show. Before we go, there are a few items we'd like you to know about. 
calling all young actresses and actors. The Buena Park Youth Theater is holding auditions this March for the summer production of Tom Sawyer. Check BuenaPark.com for more information. The annual Children's Art Festival and the 6th annual Junior High School Art Show will be on Saturday, April 26th at the new Buena Park Community Center behind City Hall. And don't forget the concerts in the park this summer at Boiserank Park. You can find out about all that information and more by visiting the city website at BuenaPark.com and in the Buena Park Today Activity Guide. It's going to be a great year for the city of Buena Park.